who do you think are the two funniest men in Tampa Bay Radio? Well, if you ask that question to folks who live here, a lot of them would say Scott Shannon and Cleveland Wheeler. They're the resident zanies of the Q Morning Zoo. And tonight, Dave discovers what the zoo two are really like, and he finds out how they feel about their new venture into television. Good morning from the Q Morning Zoo. Rise and shine with folks like you. Good morning from the Q Morning Zoo. Get up with the Morning Q Zoo. Searching the Bay Area airwaves, it's hard to find something more comical, more outrageous, more controversial than the Q Morning Zoo, that group of zanies which comprises the 6 to 10 a.m. morning show on Q105 Radio. It's the highest rated morning show in the Bay Area. In fact, more people listen to the Q Zoo than all of the early evening sports talk shows combined. The show contains everything with a cast of thousands. But in reality, it's created from the minds and voices of just two people, Cleveland Wheeler and Scott Shannon. Cleveland and Scott, along with news director Pat Brooks, are the reason why every morning you probably end up laughing all the way to work. We're wired for sound triple. We got lights going. Dave Saint running around. Say something funny. Say something funny. He's going. Scott Shannon came to the Bay Area in 1981. He's been in the radio business for 11 years, but he's never had as much fun with it as he's having now. One of the nice things about what we're doing is it's comedy, it's entertainment, it's information. I mean, I read newspapers, magazines, talk to people, call other disc jockeys. We get things off television. You know, it's just. It's just completely uh, 360 degrees. It's a look at the world through our, our eyes. I'm kind of boring when I'm not on the radio. I'm quiet. I'm, I'm, real, I'm very shy in public places. When I was a kid, I, I always had problems meeting girls because I wouldn't go up to them. If they like me, I like them. <laughs> Scott literally spends all his waking hours thinking, talking, and promoting the Q-Zoo. You may have seen him along with Cleveland at Bay Area malls signing autographs, on local TV telethons, or even as host of Channel 44 Saturday Night Drive-In Movie. Nobody cares what kind of shoe you wear. Nobody, you understand? Q-Zoo, cheap shoe, bossom. Describe Cleveland Wheeler. <laughs> he's, a, he's a total wreck. <laughs> That's all I can say. Cleveland Wheeler is a... Uh, uh, a deck with 51 guards. <laughs> well, that's not completely accurate. Cleveland Wheeler is the other half of the Q-Zoo, more cerebral, more quick-witted than his counterpart. Most of the character voices on the show are his, and he spends hours preparing them. He's also more of a family man, spending what little time he has at home with his wife, Cindy, and their dog, Dancer. You want to sit right up here? Come on, sit right up here. Come on. Yeah, get right up there. Sit right up here. Come on. I say, no, I want to go see Mama. She gives me the food. <laughs> as diverse as Cleveland and Scott's personalities are, it's the chemistry between them that makes their show work. You ever wait in those long lunch lines at a good salad bar and just can't get through and get back to work on time? Well, try the new Q-Zoo Mr. Bullhorn. Hey, you! Fat family! Hurry it up! Move it on! Go to your homes now! There is nothing more you can eat here! I, I don't think we were an instant success. I mean, people had to know after a short while that we were kidding and we weren't serious about a lot of things. But we like to make people aware through satire that there are serious things going on, but people do have control and destiny over their lives. And at the same time, they can laugh about things. Kathy Begley, feature writer for Tampa Bay Magazine, puts it another way. One of the things I admire about them is that they do take risks. And sometimes their jokes fall flat. And other times they work real well. And, and I think that's great. Names like Kathy Begley, Bob Height, Jack Harris, and Joe Kotfuss figure prominently in their show. All have been victims of the Q-Zoo celebrity roast. In the case of Joe Kotfuss, the Tampa Tribune printed an article stating that this Hillsborough County commissioner had his car washed several times a week at the taxpayer's expense. Well, the Q-Zoo created the Joe Kotfuss car wash. Actually, he knew nothing about his car being washed so often, but he was roasted anyway. I enjoy the roast. Uh, I'm, I'm going along with it. Uh, matter of fact, I tell people, uh, if you can't meet me at my office, I'll see you at my car wash. For the QZU, though, it's all in a day's work. When the Metropolitan Bank of Tampa folded recently, the QZU had a heyday. They decided to give the bank a new name. No, Bobby Ray's Bank of Barbecue, that's good. I like that. One more, that's one more word in there. Bobby Ray's Bank. 
Hot barbecue. And hot to go barbecue. Bobby Ray's Bank and hot to go Drive barbecue. Drive-through barbecue. There you go. That's it. Perfect. That's it. That's how right. Nothing is sacred. But then again, when we get serious, people know we're serious. But sometimes there are injustices in the community that are that just seem to slip by if nobody says hey and stops and captures them. Sometimes it seems so We really love doing what we're doing. I mean, we're having more fun than we've ever had in our lives. Out of all the things that people will remember about Scott Shannon in Tampa Bay, what would you like them to remember the most? Uh, that we, uh, we cared about the area in which we live and we tried to help and we made people laugh and uh, had a lot of fun. What would you like people to remember about the Q's? That they laughed. What would you like people to remember about Cleveland Wheeler? Uh, that they laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Country Ed Western song, ladies and gentlemen, of the Q Morning Zoo. Nobody can do it like we do it. And that's the truth.